KPIX 5 reporter Kenny Choi has been watching crews and residents battle to keep flames from reaching homes. Helicopters were making water drops earlier today. The skies were smoky and gray for the most part throughout the day, limiting the amount of air support that CAL FIRE could give to these residents of Angwin. Residents on the ground are doing everything that they can to save their homes. I could see the flames right there, only a block away, right on the other side of the hill. You can see the helicopter above. That's in the northwest direction from Angwin, making some drops right now. Soon Young left her home when the flames came close days ago, but returned today to help her landlord and friend. I am hoping that the wind will not shift, and uh, tonight I will not sleep too. They got some help from their neighbor, who's a veteran in more ways than one. I've been in a lot of firefights, but all the other firefights before this were with bullets. Never leaving one behind, he quickly set up this sprinkler system, giving them a chance. If I can do whatever I can do to, to save the houses, I'll do that. Just days ago, Roger Lutz's sister lost her home in Deer Park. And the one really special part of that was American flag was still flying. It was like, well, overcome. He has seen devastation before and prepares for whatever fight may come next, inspired by a flag nearby that still flies. You know, it goes through hell and high waters and it's still there. Gives you hope. All kinds of hope. These residents have been going days and nights without rest, trying to create more defensible space. They say that they'll stay here as long as they can tonight. In Angwin, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5.